So EA dropped a new teaser trailer for College Football 25. Surprise dropped this morning, uh, surprise to me at least. The teaser was cool, but most importantly, they confirmed officially that the game absolutely is dropping this summer. They said we get more details in a few months, right, in May. Now, it's been long awaited, literally since I started YouTube, and I've been on here 10 years. I remember going on my lunch break, shooting videos in the car, cause some random leaker said there's momentum towards the new game. It was 2015, 2016, 2017. My hopes were dead for years, but my dude, they've been revived. So without further ado, man, you know what time it is. Cue the Wayne. Now I debated whether or not I even wanted to make this video Cause as far as information all we got was an official release window And the fact that there will be more information dropping in May I'm sure cats will do the breakdowns and try to find little bits of info But as far as real concrete info that's kinda all we got But over the past few months I've been seeing vids from cats like 2B Light and Eric Rayweather Listening to the Matt Brown interviews while I'm riding around on my bike And I'll link some of that in the description if you haven't been up on it But those are the videos that I've been catching that's been keeping me in the loop So Dynasty Mode's been confirmed, Road to Glory Glory's been confirmed and Ultimate Team has been confirmed, but you know, I don't care about that one. As far as real concrete news, that's honestly kind of it. But for me, it's all I really need until I get some gameplay. Until you really get hands on time with the game to really see how recruiting feels, to see how the gameplay feels. That's really the only other thing I care about. All the little small stuff in the game, I'd rather find out on my own. Like I'd rather experience it than somebody tell me about it. But since they dropped the teaser trailer, I figured this was a good time to express that. I've really been thinking about the game a lot lately like for years i've been cool out of sight out of mind but man recently i've been kind of getting that itch to play again and look i dated revamp i mean we had a little fling and it was cool for me for a little while but I just need something new. I need a new challenge, a new recruiting system that I don't know. I need to rebuild teams in a new game environment. With that said, the job they did with Revamp is fire. But I just played 14 so much that I just ran out of juice real quick. But while I've stayed apprehensive, and I've stayed detached for as long as I could, man, the college bug bit me. So now I'm hoping and I'm hopeful that this will be a fun game that I could spend even a fraction of the time that I spent. Losing, learning, raging, adjusting, and then eventually succeeding like I did in the old series. For those who don't know, I built my channel on this game. My first like 80,000 subs came off NCAA. That's why even though I was annoyed by the cuter crowd noise, I sat back and I thought, you know what? I'll allow it. Not that I can do anything about it. I ain't the first person to cue something. I'm just saying though, bro. It was the delivery for me. I was like, well, damn, bro. Somebody seen a couple Flimlo videos. Cue the way. And maybe that's true and maybe that's not, but I just took it as an homage. But overall, man, dude killed it and I really enjoyed the teaser. When I was watching it, I was saying, so if they had real gameplay this this trailer is soon. fire because dude kill it but then i got to the end and i was like cue the crowd <laughs> all right man moving on but i've been thinking about the game and how i'm gonna pick a team that sucks but got some cool little unis i can swag out my own way this is a weird sentence but if it's fun it's gonna be fun i mean it's just been so damn long i got a good cliche to capture the thought absence makes the heart grow fonder i didn't live the whole life since the last game came out and when it left i never thought it would take this damn long but I'm not gonna drop a whole wish list and create the perfect game in my head because in my experience, that leads to disappointment. I'ma just play the game that dropped. I'm not watching no tips, no tricks, no guides for the first few months at least. I wanna come as close as I can to recreating that experience I had when I first played NCAA. I ain't really played much as a kid, dog. I was actually in college, sitting in summer school and we went to the store and got some drinks and it was 10 people in the dorm room. Everybody picked a team in a couple small conferences. I think it was the Sun Belt and Conference USA. I'm probably messing up the conferences, but I was mid-Tennessee State. And we just recruited, set the lineups, and simulated the games. I remember I drank a little too much and I went to the bathroom to throw up. Whole time I'm in there, I'm just thinking, they better not simulate the week. Cause I need to offer this one player and make some recruiting adjustments over here. And like from that point forward, dog, I was really hooked. 
I got another story, right? So the next year, like I said, now I'm hooked on the game. And I went home for a few weeks before summer school started. Now at the time I lived in Mississippi and went to school in Louisiana. This is before I had my car. So when my dad drove me back to school, we stopped by Walmart and he bought me the new college game. So I didn't text all the boys like, yeah, I got that new college when I get back and going down, blah, blah, blah. The game was fully encased in plastic, kind of like this. But it didn't occur to me that it didn't do this. Listen, I get all the way back to school all the way to Baton Rouge, gather up the fellas, we about to hop on the game, man. I crack that mug open, no game inside. Somebody in Natchez, Mississippi, Walmart, then scammed me out my game. I'm two hours away now, and I ain't even got a car. I'm trying to call Walmart to get a refund over the phone. That didn't work. And going all the way back to Natchez and coming back to Baton Rouge would have cost me more in gas than the game cost. Me and the fellas eventually pulled our money, ran, and went and bought another copy and opened it right there in the store to make sure we ain't get got again. But I had some fun memories with this game even before I got on YouTube. So the nostalgia runs deep. I ain't gonna lie, man. It's real. Just like back then, I'm not gonna be in a hurry to master the game. I don't care about the money plays. I don't care about the quote unquote broken plays. I'm gonna stay far away from all of that and try to keep my experience pure. But I will check out a couple of dynasties to support some of the people I mess with. Now, I've given thought into uploading a dynasty when the game drops, but I've been kind of going back and forth, man. I'm still really on the fence for several reasons, but mostly just because of the workload, because I'm the type that I still got to edit my own stuff. But if I really like the game and I do decide to upload it, it'll be on a different channel, which I know is kind of annoying. I wish I could upload it over here. Like if we had a videos tab, a live tab, a gaming tab, you know what I'm saying? If I could separate it. But the way YouTube works now, it'll probably hurt the channel because you're serving two different audiences and blah 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 but if i do i'll announce it and make sure the small percentage of y'all that want to check that out are aware and i'll tell you in advance so we can get the channel running and get it monetized actually i think i got another old channel that i could probably revive but like i said man the trailer didn't give me too much other than an excuse and motivation to talk about the game so i'm doing it it felt good to see people like uncle sam's rejects not the expert and my boy param crow get excited about the trailer i'm still an ncaa youtuber at heart so to see that community get excited it kind of hit me in the feels because it's been so long and these dudes been holding it down for years making fresh content out of old game which take a level of skill and a level of talent and diligence that really don't get its flowers so i'm excited for them to have a fresh game to look forward to because as a former gaming youtuber i know how much you look forward to that new release for inspiration yes but also growth and eyeballs and i know as an ncaa youtuber i never experienced that i would dip my toe in the mat and just to get a little bit of it let me see i got on youtube in 2015 the last ncaa came out in 2013 so the vast majority of ncaa youtubers that's still doing it have never experienced a single new release bro think about that but yeah i hope the game is good i got another game i'm looking forward to that'll hopefully hold me over until ncaa drop because when i tell you my xbox set mostly in idle mode for all of 2023 bruh that's real talk outside of a few rogue lights i mess around with and me and the boys still out here trying to keep PUBG alive but my multiplayer shooters been all catering to completely different audiences and they done left me out here floating with nothing to really play and i would ask but i know somebody out there feel the same way like it can't just be me ain't no way it's just me but anyway new college football dropping this summer and they have promised that we'll learn more in may hopefully it's gameplay in a dynasty deep dive because anything else i don't really care that much about like i will at some point but i gotta see the gameplay first then i need to know what dynasty mode talking about before anything else matters because for me personally if those two primary aspects hit everything else will fall in place if the game play is solid i'll enjoy road to glory i personally don't want no damn cutscenes. i want to make my own story like terrence davis anquan davis dre moss friends became rivals the opportunity for storytelling in rtg is what i'm most looking forward to and maybe lean a little heavier into the rpg aspect versus a linear story mode where everybody had the same experience i said i wasn't gonna do the wish list thing and boom there i go so it's time to end the video man i'm gonna holler y'all next time bro